is Narayana always shown reclining on a bed of a coiled snake called Adisesha? This is shown in various forms of literature, art and craft. What is this name Adisesha? Do all these names have any scientific meaning? To understand the enigma of Adisesha, let us go to the root of the word. Adi means beginning and Sesha means remnant. Thus Adi Sesha is a remnant of an earlier cycle of creation. Adi Sesha is always represented as a coiled serpent with five heads. It represents the endless cycles of creation and dissolution by its ability to uncoil and coil itself back. Adi Sesha is shown to bear Narayana in his coiled bed, Narayana in a reclining pose. This Narayana takes us back to the start of the creation process where within the cosmic waters lies Narayana or the state of inertness and calm as we saw earlier. Adishesha and Narayana are thus symbolic of the state of the cosmos between any two successive cycles of creation. The endlessness of these cycles have been brought forth by the name Ananta Sesha for Adishesha where Ananta means infinite. Dr. Roger Penrose, the eminent theoretical physicist, also seems to be echoing exactly the same views in scientific terms in his statement, the Big Bang in a certain sense is not the beginning. The big final stage may also be the initial stage when there is only radiation left and the universe loses track of its scale. Normally a snake has only one head. But Adi Sesha has five heads. Does this also have a scientific significance? The five heads denote the five primordial states of matter from the previous cycle of creation. Narayana and Adi Sesha in the primordial waters embody the five basic elements of this universe. 